Good morning, church. It's my privilege to share a devotional with you today. I was really hoping that I'd be able to go to a beautiful scenic place to talk about this, but I've not had time, so I'm sat in Asda Car Park. But actually, as I'm sat here, I'm thinking, yeah, actually, that's quite profound in that what I'm about to talk about is the fact that even in our everyday life, in difficult circumstances, good circumstances, we have to trust in who God is. And so sat in Asda Car Park, it's a little bit mundane. It's a little bit, oh, crumbs, we need to get some things for the pack lunches tomorrow. And so, but actually, in truth, every single day of our lives, we need to be doing it with God, whether it's being able to walk through a beautiful forest and admire God's creation or sat in a car park needing to go get some pack up stuff. <laughs> so I just want to share with you a couple of scriptures. Um, I was really blessed um, this week. I was at the prayer space at El Hop um, and God really spoke to me through Jeremiah 17. It's it's rapidly becoming my favourite chapter, actually. Um, and Jeremiah 17, 7 says this. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. And then it says this, he'll be like a tree planted by the water that sends its roots out by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes and the leaves are always green. There is no worries in the year of drought um, and it never fails to bear fruit. And I think that's a really, really powerful um, couple of verses. The reason why is because it talks about actually a tree being planted by the water, but it's the tree that sends the roots out to the stream. Um, it's part of the tree's responsibility and the tree's nature to be able to send its roots out and find good quality water in order to nourish itself. And I love that because no matter, even in years of drought, even like the year that we've experienced now, um, there's still the opportunity for us to send our roots out and connect with who God is and that nourishment that we receive from him, we should always be able to bear fruit no matter what. Colossians 2 verse 7 says this, let your roots grow down deep into him and let your lives be built on him, on Jesus. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. When we were having a prayer time this week, I just had this sense that actually as as Christians, um, it's really important. The Bible says that, that people know us by our fruit. And I just want to ask you right now, how good is your fruit? Um, has your roots been going and finding streams that the world has been putting out there, streams of fear, streams of, of discouragement, and therefore your fruit that everybody can see has been quite unhealthy? It's not been helping you, it's not been helping your family, and it's certainly not been helping your community. Maybe there's fear and, and discouragement and bitterness and hurt hanging off that tree for everyone to see. And um, I just want to encourage you right now that it doesn't have to stay that way, that it's our responsibility to send our roots out into streams of living water, into streams where Holy Spirit can speak to us, um, minister into our lives. And therefore, the fruit that we develop um, will be one of, of love, of joy, of peace, of patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So here's a challenge to you today. What's your fruit looking like? Is it looking bad? Is it looking negative? Is there just no fruit at the moment because you are going through a really dry season and you're finding that um, actually the, the tree just feels really bare? Do you know what? That's okay. That's okay. As Christians, we shouldn't beat ourselves up about that. Um, even big heroes in, in the Christian faith over centuries, they've had times where they felt so discouraged that actually their trees are just bare and they've needed to have some time to hibernate, some time to go into God and spend time with God before they can feed or give anything out to anybody else. And that's okay. But actually, as we start to go through this next season, I just encourage you, make sure your roots are going into streams of living water, because from those streams, oh, the nourishment and the sense of it doesn't matter what is going on in this world right now. Um, I am just being nourished by God. I'm being blessed by God. Um, I'm able to, to give fruit to others as well as bless 
those closest to me and myself. So I'm just going to pray for us right now. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you that you have given us this opportunity to plant ourselves in your word, to, to just receive from Holy Spirit every single day. And Lord, I just pray for my friends, for my family listening to this right now, that as we were as we go through this next season, as we as we endure this um lock current lockdown and as we go through Christmas and different things that we might be feeling, different things we might be grieving, I just pray that our roots will intentionally be going into those streams of living water. Will you wash over us? Will you nourish us? In your mighty name. Amen. All right, friends. God bless.